making perfect ice for the Olympic Games takes a lot more than just freezing water. The job falls to the ice meisters, experts who use science, engineering, and a good deal of finesse to create ice that helps athletes beat world records. So how did the ice meisters do it? First and foremost, they have to understand the needs of the athletes so they can determine how thick and cold to make the ice. The thicker and warmer the ice, the softer and slower it will be. Figure skaters, for example, need the softest ice because it lets them push their skates in for jumps and stick their landings. Make the ice too cold and it could shatter upon impact. Hockey players need slightly harder ice that can handle getting knocked around. But it can't be too hard. They still need to be able to stop on a dime to make a play. Long track speed skating ice, on the other hand, has to be very thin and cold. Skaters want to move with as little resistance as possible down the track, and the cold hard ice gives them the fastest times. Ice meisters also have to decide what type of water to use. Ice made with perfectly pure water actually doesn't hold together that well, but ice with too many impurities can add friction. Ice meisters will typically use hot water for the top layers of a skating rink because it contains the least oxygen. Small air pockets can make the ice brittle. They also act as an insulator, which means it takes more refrigeration to keep the ice cold. Ambient temperatures are a big consideration as well. The Ice Meister for speed skating at the 2018 Winter Games requested that LED lighting be used in the skating oval because it throws off the least heat. And some Ice Meisters will keep the ice slightly colder when they know there'll be a big audience for an event. All that body heat can raise the temperature. Then there's monitoring the weather and adjusting for the humidity in the building. More humidity means that more water droplets will settle and freeze on the ice. That can add friction and slow down the athletes. Each ice surface at the Winter Olympics can take days or weeks to create and requires crews of hardworking people. Ice experts for the sliding track used in luge, bobsled, and skeleton, for example, may smooth the track by hand. It's an important job. A single bump could send a sled flying, and when it lands, it could crack the ice. So as you're watching the Winter Games, marvel at the jaw-dropping abilities of the athletes. And then thank the Ice Meisters and their teams who make it possible.